Hi everyone, uh, out at the field today uh, doing a bit of field testing. Today I'm uh, uh, doing a field test with the Racer Star BR2406 2600 kV motor uh, running a 6x3 uh, electric sport prop from RC Timer, also sold as KMP from Banggood and uh, TGS from Hobby King. So anyway, I'll uh, chat some more here as we get flying, so let's go. So I'd already tested this motor and prop on 4S, but never on 3S. And I'm going to be working on a project this fall and winter. Nice! Where I'm looking at, uh, you know, a fairly lightweight and efficient uh, setup. So I wanted to test this on 3S. Uh, I'm actually running a 30 amp speed controller. I'm hoping that uh, you know, I might even be able to get a little lower than that, just to <laughs> really lighten things up. Decent acceleration. Uh, the plane that I'm going to be uh, experimenting with in this project will be about 10% smaller wingspan-wise. Good vertical climb out. Um, this, uh, this prop motor combo is pulling about 26 amps on the bench at uh, full throttle on 3S. I'll have more details uh, down below in the uh, in the video description. Good acceleration. Not a lot of uh, you know, sort of between 80 to 100% throttle. Not getting a whole lot more uh, acceleration, but I'm looking for uh, yeah, that's good power there. Wound out at full throttle. You know, considering. Uh, you know, if I was to reduce the size of this plane by about 10%, it would really skip along nicely. Uh, certainly quieter than the uh, uh, setup that I normally run in this plane, but fun to experiment and test. Yeah, so uh, pulling about 26 amps on the uh, on the bench, so you know, if we reduce that by you know 20 to 25 percent, perhaps it's only pulling about 18 or 20 amps in the air, which is which is pretty darn good for uh, you know for a little quad motor with this prop. So what I'm hoping is you know with again with a lighter, smaller plane, is I might be able to get down to you know maybe a 20 amp speed controller even. So we'll see. Um, Heat buildup is a bit different, to, a bit difficult to gauge today because it's a nice cool fall day. It's only about six degrees Celsius when I got here this morning. So, but just based on the amount, I've already had uh, three flights here before I shot the video. So, just based on the amount uh, of juice left in the battery. Okay, there's my alarm. Um, I could probably. I normally fly my flights. Oop. With the uh, with the other setup, are probably uh, get my timer shut off there. Probably around you know four and a half minutes to five. I could probably fly this about 30, 30 to forty five seconds longer. So let's just uh, get things sorted out here so we don't hurt ourselves. All right. So uh, yeah, I won't look into the sun there. Oh yeah, motors. Again, like I said, it's only about six or seven Celsius. No heat at all in the motor. Uh, just a tiny bit of warmth in the speed controller. Uh, nothing in the battery. So uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. So like I said, the project that I'm going to be working on, the plane will be uh, have um, at least a 10% uh, shorter wingspan, which will certainly help cut down on the drag. Uh, uh, considerably, uh, it's going to be more 20, 22 inch wingspan. This is a 24 and a half inch wingspan. Um, but yeah, that's a great little uh, efficient combo there um, for uh, you know for a smaller park jet like this. And you know, fortunately today's a dead calm day, uh, so you know maybe in windier conditions with a plane this size, it might have a little might struggle a little bit more, um, just because you know we don't have quite as much pitch. Uh, but this is this little motor. The nice thing about this Racer Star 2406-2600 is it's uh, a really great. I, I I did a video review video on it. I think it's a, one of the best budget value 
uh, quad motors for uh, park jet. Um, you know, it's 20 grams lighter than your standard uh, uh, 2212, 2200 uh, motor. Uh, not terribly expensive and very, very versatile. Uh, you know, in the testing that I've done. So yeah, there we go. Very, uh, very pleased with that. So I'll continue to uh, to thrash about here today for uh, for several more flights and uh, just have some fun. But yeah, I'm very, uh, very pleased with that as a good, uh, efficient uh, power setup for uh, an even smaller uh, park jet than this one, or even maybe this size. You know, if I just wanted a bit more relaxing um, experience of what I normally run. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, Please again check out the comments down below for uh, more details on the um, uh, best bench test numbers uh, and other info. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, beautiful blue skies here before it starts to rain again, uh, but that's good. We certainly needed the rain here. Um, blue, uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom. Old age sucks. I can't remember what I said 10 seconds ago. Oh, and there's another sign of fall. I don't know if you can see, but off the end of my finger there, a bunch of, bunch of Canada geese moving around. Looks like they almost got an albino in the middle of the flock there, or some other species. Anyway, take care.